Hey everybody, my name is Alexander Kane. I'm a product marketing manager for the Document Cloud here in sunny Orlando, Florida, um, celebrating our upcoming, our recent uh, um, partnership with Adobe and Microsoft. Um, today we're here to show an end-to-end -end demo of some of the integrations that we have with Adobe and Microsoft that will make the document process a little bit smoother and as well as bring a, a collaborative environment to a lot of workplaces. And so the example that we're gonna provide is um, with an organic energy company called Aqua that's trying to develop a new product launch and create assets for the product launch. And they're working in collaboration with a creative agency point to point to create those assets. And in, internally within point to point, they're also hiring a new designer to have, handle that additional work that's required for the design. And so today, we're gonna go from the perspective to start with with Eric Wilder. He's a marketing manager for Aqua. So um, first of all, he's gonna be starting to brainstorm ideas for the product innovation within Microsoft Teams. And one of the things that he wants to look up is um, a couple of stock photos for plastic bottles. And so while he's in Microsoft Teams, he's just gonna click on the simple um, plus button to open up the Adobe stock tab, which is right here with the ST symbol. He's gonna click on that um, and of course enter his Adobe ID to log in. And as you can see, it has a pop-up for the Adobe stock feature. And so he's gonna click on that. And what appears is a tab where you can look up any stock images with a, sp a specific key code. And so for him, he looks up plastic bottles. And so you're giving a whole stock library of different pa plastic bottle features. And so he's excited because he has a whole new library of stock features that he can um, give to his team to use for their new assets. And so what he's going to do in order to share that stock library with the rest of his team, he's going to add an additional tab. Um, he's going to do the same process where he adds the uh, plus button. And then he, in, instead of going to the stock button, he's going to go to the creative cloud button to share that stock library. And so he clicks on that, accepts it. And then as you can see, the tab is showing the creative cloud. And so now he can show this full stock library of plastic bottles to his team. And so it brings a full collaborative environment for um, being able to share stock photos. And so as you can see, now we have the library open and then he has team members commenting on the stock li library. And so one of the awesome things as well is because you are part of this Creative Cloud Suite, you can also, in addition, open it in Photoshop and be able to um, edit in whatever way you can. And so he gets the approval and now he's gonna work with his uh, external client, um, the creative agency, to send over an NDA so he can have the privacy for his design and get an update on that. And so what he's gonna do is start a new conversation and as well as send a Adobe sign tab. And so what he's gonna do is add the plus button again and add the final tab, which is Adobe sign. And he's gonna accept the rights. And as usual, you can see the Adobe sign tab within the conversation. And so what he's gonna do is send it out to his external client, which is the design team for the product asset. Um, in this case, his name is Marco. And, what, and a couple awesome things is that you can send it in a sequential order. You can have different authentic, authentication levels. So you can have a signer, a prover, um, someone who's a view only, as well as send a, a detailed message if you have any additional information. And of course, add any additional files if you're missing any. And so he's gonna send the file and you can see that it's been successfully sent and he will be alerted if it has not been viewed by a certain date or um, hasn't been signed by a certain date, as well as he can add additional reminders if in case that Marco doesn't have the ability to check on it and uh, sign it. And so he's gonna, um, what he, in addition, he's gonna use a sign bot to check on the status of the sign NDA. And as you can see, um, you can have different options such as finding certain agreements, send for signature and view status. And so for him, he's gonna view the status and see that it's been opened and not signed. And he's gonna want the chatbot to send a reminder just to Marco to say, hey, can you follow up and sign this NDA so we can discuss our creative assets. And so he sends a reminder and the chatbot is able to do that. And so he has the reminder and then he can see that it's been, uh, the agreement status has been signed because of the update. And so, this is how uh, Marco internally is gonna add uh, the designer for the onboarding process. So for um, point to point, they wanna add an additional designer into the 
um, into their program just because there's not enough hands on deck. And so he has an offer letter within his inbox to send out to the um, applicant about getting an e-signature for it. And so he has the Outlook open and then he's gonna click on the send for signature. And what it's going to do in the background is use the document and to create a signable PDF. And then he's also add additional recipients if there's necessary, if there's any additional people that he wants to hire, as well as um, add any uh, additional messages just to review and complete the document. And so he adds the applicant, Gloria Rios, into it, and he sends a message saying, please, revi please review and complete this document. And so he clicks send, and as you can see, the agreement has been sent for signature. And so what does it look for Gloria who received the offer letter? Lucky her. Um, she simply clicks on the link for a click here to review and sign the offer letter. And then the awesome thing about Adobe Sign is that it will lay out where you need to sign very easily. So all she has to do is click on the next required field and it'll direct her to the signature page where she needs to sign. And so there's four ways to sign. You could type it um, traditional with a keyboard. You can draw it using your mouse pad. You could also use an image that you can take from your phone. And one of the awesome features as well is to be able to um, text yourself your phone number and sign it with it using your fingertip, which is pretty awesome. And so she decides to uh, do the standard version of just typing it, and she clicks apply, and then simply clicks click to sign to um, finish the process. And as always, she can always have the option to download a copy. And so um, once they have completed the actual asset application, Marco's going to use Flow to have the, um, the asset sent for approval. And so what he's going to do is simply click on the Adobe Sign tab to um, have the workflow to get the approval. And it will show up for um, Aqua, the marketing manager who needs the approval within his inbox in the simple link to review and approve. And so he looks at the asset, thinks it's great, looks great, and then clicks to approve. And so that's been uh, all the integrations that with Adobe and Microsoft. And today, it's been a great day, and we're excited about the upcoming partnerships with Adobe and Microsoft. Thanks.